Hello and welcome to News Battlegrounds, I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the Valiverse Action Force, finally Series 5, Atlas. Now Atlas got some, uh, get some good looks because he's a larger figure, it's the first time we've gotten a different sized figure um, in the line, or what, three or four years in the line. They're usually like a universal size, the males are and the females their own, and then now we got Atlas the big guy here. So, really excited to take a look at him. Diving in, got our Series 5 Atlas, light blue shenanigans going on. In the back, you get a nice little shot of him. Um, cross cell, there's his combat profile if you want to uh, pause it and read it. Goes by Mike. His uh, legal name is Michael, but he goes by Mike, so glad that was uh, specified. But I believe he's the uh, shotgun specialist for the Valiverse line. In the the card back is the same size as um, the rest of Series Five, so he just takes up more of the uh, more of the bubble, if you would. Diving into the accessories, we get our new Series Five stand. We saw it with the Reapers. We've seen it with uh, Senshi so far. Not a whole lot going on. A couple extra foot pegs, but otherwise, not a uh, a whole lot. So. Getting into his weapon, we get this nice little auto shoddy. It's got the porthole for blast effects. Something new, not a whole lot going on with it though, color wise. We get the mag, drops out. Nice little foregrip. We also get a drum mag for it. And that pegs in. We also get another one of these, it's actually on his hip which we'll take a look at here in a little bit. So, something different, something new. A lot of uh, a lot of shotguns, a lot of underbarrels in uh, Series 5. So, you have that. We get this beautiful K-Bar. Black blade, brown handle. Looks good. Going into the figure himself, he's got two trigger hands. Left and a right fist, left and right gripping hands, open gripping hands, C gripping hands, and then your actual left and right gripping hands. Now these are the same size hands as um, any other Action Force figure. So if I grab Condor here from the SDS release, so hopefully his hand comes out, it does, I can plug in. Atlas's hand, and it's not too big, not not gigantic, not ridiculous, but it is on a uh, vertical hinge though, so that is something new. I missed that in the century review. Give him his hands back. Looking at the man himself, I love this vest. I'm wondering what it would look like on a regular figure. Um, I'll have to pop it off and ch try that out. Where's the, there's the tabs. But vest looks good. It's got the molly all over it. It's got the thick collar. It just looks good. It looks like a tactical vest. We got two more mags in the, in the vest itself. Got a little radio, a little hand mic action, and then you got your action force flag. Big guy can T-pose. Double jointed pinless elbows. We got some shells on this forearm. Got a nice little butterfly in there, as you can see it moving all over the place. You got this brown leather thing going on in this one. Looking good. And then, uh, I think a lot of people would have, would have just completely missed it if the uh, the upper leg, I don't even know what you'd call it, the pelvis region, isn't textured. So he's going to be sending out uh, textured ones here. You just got to contact them once you have your figure in hand with your order number and everything and uh, go from there. So I'm here for it. However, I'm not here for popping apart this guy, especially with the drop down legs and trying to swap all that stuff out. That stuff stresses me out. I got to... I gotta, I think a Desert Trooper and a one of my Night Ops steel, steel 
brigade are slightly taller because I stretched the peg out while I was heating and popping. So, I don't know how I feel about that, but working our way down, we got our shotgun drum holster on his leg. We got our knife sheath over here. It's got a nice little molly paddle. And that knife should just go right in. Looks good. And then when I see these boots, I laugh because uh, I can't think. I want to say Danner was the brand. But I knew someone. I'm not going to say them. And uh, they, <laughs> he, he, was a, he wasn't skinny, but he wasn't like obese. But he was a little on the thicker side. And he wore, I think they were Danners. And they, they looked like this. Like just, he even, you know, stuffed his pants into his boots and all that stuff. It just looked goofy in uniform. And that's what these remind me of. So I kind of get a kick out of that. But um, you got your thigh cut. You got your double jointed pinless knees. Going to get you that much out of it. Got your boot cut. And then you got your ankle rocker. So it's got everything. I wonder if we can... Let me grab one of the troopers real quick. We're gonna we're gonna try something out here. All right, we got one of our recon core troopers. Wonder if we can do a little. So there's Atlas's head on the recon trooper. And there's the recon trooper head on Atlas's body, so it's all interchangeable. Now it makes me want to <laughs> pop the vest off and throw it on him. So that can be done. So getting a height comparison here. I'd say he's not like how we have like Roadblock or um, Serpentor or Sergeant Slaughter, or Big Boa for G.I. Joe Classified who are like, you know, superhero big. I'd say Atlas is like a realistic, realistic height when it comes to uh, sizing up for figures. So. And uh, he fits in the Vanguard because the seats adjust, so. They made sure of that. I think I, I think I even put Roadblock in the Vanguard during my video. But that's Atlas. Do you guys pick him up? Skip out on him? Um, how do you guys feel about him? How do you guys feel about the bigger buck? Are you guys excited for it? Not looking forward to it? Let me know in the comments below. But until next time, load up, grab your kits. See you in the battlegrounds.